Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome you to episode 8 of Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. And I just ended the last video literally about 8 seconds ago, so now let's go ahead and do the boss. Oh, so my voice is still kind of shot. Well, it's not really shot, it's just my throat is kind of hurting. Oh wait, dude, don't talk over this cutscene now, let's see. <laughs> Every time I hear this guy's voice, I can't help but laugh. Oh. It sounds like he has like a bunch of like bubbles in his mouth, which makes sense because he is bubbly. That's his name. All right, yeah, you and your cheating self. Oh my god, he just thrust the mine right into my f backside. He shoved it right up my ass. All right, stop hitting the mines now. Yeah, this is what's annoying about this guy is that he lays mines behind him. And also, as you saw, like, he shoots them forward and then they go behind him. Because I was in front of him that one time when it hit me. Yeah, this this is the first boss race that I would say is actually really challenging. Because, like, Snowpoke and Tricky, they're just, they're not really bad at all. Like, the second racing of Snowpoke, yeah, it's kind of, oh my, oh, holy crap! <laughs> I just landed right on top of that freaking thing. Wouldn't that have been awesome if that like if the mine just like thrust me forward and I landed on another mine and then another and then another and I just like bounced across, not even touching the water at all? That would have been so funny. Oh, that's like three stooges shit, man. Alright, oh let's get this balloon. See if we can get a homing missile off on him. Stop pooping out your mines, man. They're getting annoying now. Actually, they've been annoying. The first time you laid one out, it was annoying. Alright, come on. Oh, I have a... I don't have a chance. What am I talking about? I have a chance! No, you don't. No, you don't. Shut up. You don't have a chance unless you practice. Daniel song. That's not even a line in the movie. <laughs> just, I just said Daniel song just for the hell of it. Yeah, I lost. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready, blah 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 blah. Dude, <laughs> that kind of sounded like Simon or something from the Yogg's cast. Whatever. I'm ready now. Bring it, man. Bring it, bubbly fuck. Yeah, look at how good I'm doing now. What of your stupid poop mines now? Oh. <laughs> he just shoots one right in front of me. Oh, as soon as I say that, like literally the second I say that, he shoots one right in front of me. Yes! Hit him with that freaking missile. Don't you hit me with your missile? Don't you hit with your missile? Ah. Alright, dude. Well, that was pointless. I hit him with a missile, but then I ran into him. But how can you not run, in run into him? He takes up like half the freaking track. With his big orange face. Get your face out of my place, bubbly! All right. I feel so stupid when I'm not talking. You know what else makes me feel stupid is when I like try to like make a movie reference or something, but I can't because I don't like watch as many like I don't like watch a ton of movies, but I know that there's like a movie reference to be made there, and like I don't know. I think that it just comes from watching too much NCS, because, like, he has, he has, like, billions of movie quotes that you can just come up with, like, on the spot there. I can't do that, but I've always, like, wanted to be able to do that, just because that would be awesome. Oh, and it might relate to more people, I don't know. <laughs> Did you see him on the island there? He's, he was, like, crawling on the island a little bit at the very end. Alright, here we go. And win! He doesn't say it with any emphasis, so I thought I'd say it for him. Oh. oh, the genie doesn't have anything special for me this time. I've got something special for you. Oh, don't you just love how he says, get the silver coins from my world, instead of, like, get the silver coins from around the Sherbet Island? Oh, they probably just did that, because, like, with that voice, he can't possibly say Sherbet. Or it would sound really, like, horrible if he did. Something like that. 
Alrighty. Whale Bay Silver Coins. These aren't that bad at all, really. Some of them are, one of them is kind of dickish, I think, maybe. Actually, no, I don't think any of them are. I think they're all pretty fine. Oh, I forget. Yeah, there is one down here. Under this little outcropping, this little awning of rock. A rock awning. What the hell? Did I miss that coin? I bet I, bet I did. Oh, no, I don't think I did. Because, yeah, there's this one here. And there you go. Go for it. Jeez, TT, why didn't you say that? Go for it. Normally you do. I guess you were still too busy saying lap two, though. Right. Oh, you know what? I should have picked up one of those rainbow balloons and tried to show you what the triple rainbow balloon looks like. Because I actually like the look of what the triple rainbow balloon power-up looks like. It's just like, it doesn't have a great effect. It just looks awesome. And the little icon. Was that, did I just hit my own oil slick? I think I did. <laughs> well, that's dumb. Now, that's like eating a banana then dropping the peel on the ground, and then slipping on it. Like, what? Alright, I see a mountain out there. I want to go to that mountain. Oh, today's a great day for mountain climbing. Actually, no, not really, because it's like 35 degrees outside, which is 90-something Fahrenheit, I think. And I don't want to be climbing a mountain in that kind of heat. Kind of bitchin' heat. Alright, so, um, how much time do we have left? Oh, jeez, we have, <laughs> do we have, like, nine minutes left? Holy crap. Holy crap, I'm ridiculous. But I probably shouldn't be recording this, like, because I'm recording this, like, a multiple recording session. Multiple episodes, you know? I probably shouldn't be doing that, because I still have to go record Kirby's Epic Yarn for today, if I want to do two videos a day. Conker? <laughs> Why does Conker always have to put his bushy tail right in my face? Does he want me to smell his farts or something? Because I'm not going to do that. That's nasty ass. It's like Hooktail wanting you to smell his feet. You know, you, they pay like millions of coins to go smell Hooktail's feet. Oh, like. right, yeah, this, the, this silver coin challenge is actually a little bit more tricky. Most specifically for just like one coin. Uh, I think I already got one of the coins that was kind of dickish. It was the one that was behind the tree. I always remember that one, because that was like the one silver coin in this level that I could never find as a kid. It was right back there, behind the palm tree. Behind the palm trees that are ridiculously outstretched from the wall. Uh, yeah, see, there's this one over here, which is just the most... I don't know, you have to turn so sharply in order to get that one. It's ridiculous. And I think there's another one, like, up here that's kind of like that, too. Yeah, look at this. Just like... Do they really expect you to do that? Especially for me as a kid, I didn't know you could sharp turn, so I just ran into the wall whenever I got those ones. Oh, my throat hurts so much. Why does it hurt so much? Why, mommy? Why? Well, you see, son, it's a little comp some. <laughs> it's a little comp thing, no. It's a little something called strep throat. I've never actually had strep throat. My sister has, though. And I asked what was wrong with my sister, because I was, like, so young at the time. And my dad's like, oh, she has strep throat. And I'm like, what's that? And he's like, well, there's a bunch of, like, white stuff in your throat. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so, so, like, now whenever I think of strep throat, I just think of, like, a, like, a fuzzy white patch inside your throat. And it's really nasty. I know you... <laughs> that probably just puts a horrible mental image in your brains. I put it in my brain, too, when I was a kid. I'm gonna take a drink here as we watch this pan around the level. Ooh! Ah, yeah. Look at that gigantic sandcastle. Jeez, who's the king of that? Sandman? Sandman in Spider Man 3 is so. I love that thing. I just love the effect. Like, I don't know. Technology has just advanced so far. Like, I never thought that something like that Sandman would be possible. But there it is, and they've gone to do bigger and better things than that Sandman, too. It's like, at what point is technology just going to stop getting better? It just, like, seems that it never will, but there's got to be some kind of limit to it. Like, everything has a limit on how good it can be, doesn't it? Maybe not, I don't know. Alright, did I get this coin over here? No, I didn't. Let's just get that right now. Alright, there's also one coin way out here. 
it's really kind of stupid that they make you go out this far, but whatever. You still have a nice angle. Oh, what, dude, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. Well, I got a double shield now. That's cool. I just can't conquer with it, too. Right, there's the coin. There's two more coins to get. Where are they? There's one over here. I think this is, like, the worst that I've done in this course in quite some time. I'm bumping in all the wall. Into... I'm bumping in all the wall. Is what I was... I, I was seriously about to say I'm bumping in all the wall. What am I, caveman? If I am, then I better go to Geico. See, what are you doing, Tip Tub? You're just like, you're drunk driving. What are you doing drunk driving a hovercraft? That can't be safe at all. Alright, we And we rocket past the finish line. With a rocket. With a red rocket. Oh yeah, I always let this cutscene play out, play out a little longer because I just like looking at like the sunset, Sirena Beach type of effect that that level has. Uh, it totally glorifies that cutscene. Whoa! I just saw a zipper off to the right there that I never knew existed. It was like a plane zipper, and I never, I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't know how. I have driven through this course in a plane before. Just because I wanted to see what it was like, but that's crazy. I, I can't believe I never saw that. Alright, yes, I got the zipper and the coin! You stupid crunch. Dude, crunch! He did a flip, and I. Like, normally you'd like try to like drive around or like underneath them when they're flipping, but I was too far back, so I just ran into him. Yeah, I don't think you can really see the, zi the zipper in the sky when you're driving on the ground like this. But if you like go back and like check that like intro cutscene where it's like doing the pan around of the course, then you can probably see it a bit better. Let's get this. Okay, sweet. We gotta get these now. Yeah, be careful not to to get like at least one of those on the first two laps, because like you can't get them both on the third lap without losing a ton of time. So be extremely careful there. Oh my god, I missed a coin. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I got it. But can I win? Can I and win? I don't know if I can. Well, I just I just pooped in Crunch's face, so... Ew. Oh, I missed the coin, so I'm... I can't even and win. I can't even and win. Because I didn't... I don't deserve the right to the and. Jeez. Oh, I got like two minutes left here. Let's go one more time, I think. Probably won't get the boss in this, in this video, but... Whatever. And now I'm starting on this. Oh my God! What what happened there? I don't even know. And yeah, the beginning of this race is just so like, I don't know the and the starting area is just so narrow, so everyone just gets cluster fucked together. Alrighty, dude, don't fall in the in the ooze in the green listerine. Oh yeah, alliteration. Alliteration Nation up in here. Alrighty, I missed that. Oh my. I missed the coin again. That's the one that screwed me last time, too. Because I had to go back for it. Yeah, remember that? That was fun. Jeez, I'm making like a reference to something that just happened literally like less than a minute ago, probably. Alrighty, come on. Let's do it. Stupid timber, get out of here. Don't do serpentine. I gotta get this coin. Oh, I got it. Wow. I totally missed it, but I got it. And I totally missed that other one, too, but I also got it. Yup. The gods of D-Kong Racing are on my side today. I feel like I can conquer the world here. No pun intended. And there you go. Just trying to see if I could see that plane zipper in the air again. Maybe I can see it in this cutscene. I don't know. Oh no, it's too pink. It's too pink in the background. How can you see anything through that? Oh well. Alright, so I think that's going to have to be it for this video. Um, dude, don't do that. I just hit my headset. It's probably going to sound really bad. Alright, so next time on Diddy Kong Racing, I suppose we'll just go ahead and take on that boss in there. And he is... 
I think I'm gonna have to save that for the next recording session because I am not ready. I'm not mentally prepared for that yet. Okay. Oh, yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night. Oh, 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 oh,